Hi, James Blunt. It's James the Wine Guy here to share and celebrate this wine with you today. This is from the producer Zonin Amaroni della Valpolcella 2008 Vintage, a 14% alcohol content wine. And um, this is 60% Corvina, 35% Rondanella, 5% Molinara. Now, the unique feature of Amaroni is that it's going to be in a 120-day uh, dry period. That is that the grapes are um, formally put on a stra uh, straw mat and uh, dried for 120 days. Now it's done differently. It's done in uh, climate controlled rooms. So they dry partially and, um, and that's a good feature to point out here in this bottle. It says that this is a dry red wine because it is. And um, if you were to dry for too long, then you wouldn't have a dry wine. You'd have a sweet wine. Uh, but that's what makes Amaroni so special. And Amaroni comes from the root word Amaro, meaning bitter. But I will also point out that it is not bitter at all. It's one of these unique, authentic signatures of this uh, wine. If I had to be trapped on a desert island, this might be the wine to do it. Because I think it's just absolutely um, robust and beautiful. And here we are, 2013, enjoying this in 2008. And I will point out that um, Amaroni production begins in January. So here we are, January 2013. And um, so here the experience begins. And um, for me, it's a wonderful journey and experience to taste and enjoy and uh, be lucky enough to um, have this bottle of wine. So for, first of all, beautiful notes of rose petal, uh, bramble patch, suede, honeycomb, and a bit of lavender. Here we go. I'll take a taste and tell you what this wine is like. Hmm. Take time. Take time to enjoy this wine. Luxuriant silken tannins on this. Each component and note is perf in perfect harmony with the next. And um, what I really enjoy about this is its blackberry notation, tayberry, which is a what you find in Oregon. It's a brambleberry and uh, cinnamon, cardamom, hint of lavender, anise, sweet red pepper, and cremini mushroom is key on this. Um, beautiful, elegant, and long finish. I give this one a 9.3 out of a 10.0 scale. For more wine reviews, please go to jamesthewineguy.com. Subscribe to my videos on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Vimeo, Google+, Pinterest. Salud and salute.